Yo, yo, my people, this is your boy, Ben Trey, back with another banger. Yeah. Obviously, I'm joined here today by Jessica Dina. Hi, guys. I've seen beauty before, but this is a discovery. You guys have been asking us a lot of questions in the DMs like, yo, what's fatherhood like? What's motherhood like? How's... I love it. You love motherhood? Yes. You love not sleeping at night? Yes, it's the best. You love... Uh... I love being full of um, baby vomit. I love getting peed on, all those kinds of things. It's, it's quite great. You guys should try it. Weird. Buddy, you're weird. Well, don't try it, old guys. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people are saying like, "Now nah, I want to have six, seven children. Have your first child, and then you come talk to me again, right?" <laughs> guys, today we're gonna do a Q and A. You guys sent us some questions on Instagram, and um, we're basically gonna answer those questions for you guys today, right here, right now, guys. Any words from you before you start, Jessica? No, let's get into it. First question. When are you going to make a turn in Cryfontaine? That's a no from me. I will not be going with if Why? You know. Is Cryfontaine scary? I've heard some scary things about Cryfontaine. I feel like there's a nice side of Cryfontaine and there's also a bad side. I actually um, know someone from Cryfontaine. But you always make the videos about Fontaine. So yeah. that's what scared me the most. Oh, like Strandfontaine? Got him. We fucking got him. But that's where I come from. So that's a bit different though. I'm because I'm gonna be biased. That's where I stay. So there's nothing wrong with I stay. Okay. But the other fountains and the rivers and all that stuff. Mm. I, mean, I also feel like strong thing when I get in there, but I, I start shaking a bit. You've been coming there for almost two years. You know, actually that's actually the interesting part, no? Like when you first start going somewhere, you always get like a bit scared. But then when you actually like Used immersed and used mm -hmm. to it and then you like all of a sudden not scared like the area doesn't become more dangerous you just become more strong and that's a lesson for you guys in life like your environment doesn't get easier you just become stronger yes that was deep no that's like giving motivational forex trader vibes all right guys do you, would you guys judge me if i became a forex trader i would why because you don't need to i do need to i need money what if i start selling courses 100 and a course bro <laughs> and then each one of my subscribers buy a hundred and close. the money and then what? No, I'm just, I'm just teaching them. I'm not touching the money. I'm just selling them a course for hundred. So you're taking the money. Yeah. Okay. Now so they, then that's they're fine. all gonna send me hundred then. Let's do it. Let's set it up after this. But to be honest though, guys, no. If you ever see me promoting forex, no, just know that it's for the bag. No, no, it's not for oh. the bag. Just know that I'm educated. Because right now I'm uneducated, so I'm always going to dust forex traders. Oh, so you when, you, when you are promoting forex, it's because you know what you're speaking about. Yes, and I know what I'm doing because I won't just promote you guys something that I have no idea how it works. Anyway, moving to the next question. How did it feel, bruh? Oh, he's talking about the snake. He's talking about the snake. How, did it, how was the snake video? What snake? Ah! <laughs> No, that one. No, that one. The snake video. The one with the snake. It felt like... It was a bit slimy. Yeah. But it's probably that... What's it called? Sal Salmonella. How do you say Salmonella. <laughs> and you guys need to start cleaning your chicken, huh? Because I know some of you guys are making chicken, but you're not cleaning the thing. Yeah. But it, it actually doesn't feel bad. I wouldn't hold it. I wouldn't put it around my neck. But when I when I touched it, it didn't feel like him, though. But it, it felt different. Mm, interesting. Mm. So what, what do you feel about me doing more pranks on you? I I am going to say no. Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Just give it! Why? Because I feel like I became a bit more fragile. Now that you're a mother. Yes. So yes. it's like everything scares me. Like a snake. Because I almost died that day with a snake. I got a place. Don't you guys go home? <laughs> Next question. If you guys had to break up with each other, what do you think the reason would be for? Um, Probably because we outgrew each other mainly. Yeah, I think that would be the only reason. Um, Or, or, yeah, only because we outgrew each other. Or what? Or. That dude, that dude, for me, that would be the only reason. I'd never cheat on Airways, so it wouldn't be because of cheating. Um... So, yeah, if you just, like, feel like your lives are going on two separate paths, then that would be the reason for me in our relationship right now. Yeah, real. Do you agree? I agree. Nice. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Okay, next question. Would you cheat on your missus for a pro contract to Manchester United and 500k a week? Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Just give it! Damn! 500k a week, Jessica. One night of cheating. 500k a week what's the thing they call say um as long as you come back home wow. 
<laughs> as long as it comes back home to me. 500k contract in Man United. I will be there. I will be there. I will do. I will cheat three nights in a row. Whoa. No, 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 joking, joking. Just, 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 just for, just for content. Like, don't, like, I'm gonna okay. cut this part out. It's fine. A cheat for a cheat. A but, pause for a pause. But you're not getting a 500k contract for Man United. But I'm gonna be getting something else. You're a Jesus. Caught me. Help me. <sighs> you guys must always take it too far, bruh. I was trying to secure the, the the future for our family. Wow, she just so doing it for fun. What does I do when you when you gone? You can just sleep one day. No, I will sleep. See. You're way too horny. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> do you have a brother, Irve? I actually have two brothers. One's name's Nathan, and the other one's name is Joshua. Why is my name Irve? I don't know. I'm the only one with the with the French name. The rest of them just got normal names. I love your name though, but it's actually spelled with a R. Did you guys know that? With a R. Yes. What like, the uh? like Hervé. Why did you say with the uh? <laughs> Why did you say no, with the H? With the uh? It's the same thing. See, when you watch too much when, right when you when wrong? you watch too much coke right when you watch too much coco melon. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, it's uh, Hervé. Mm. Hervé. It's obviously uh, it's how you spell it in French. You I saw it on your mommy's phone once. Like your name was with the H, and I was like, oh, that's how I knew. That's how they spell. Airways in general, but that's not how they spell my name. She just puts it like that because she just oh. knows a lot of. Does it? Does it have a, a copy thingy at the end? Yes. Oh, so okay. okay. Sum up your life in twenty twenty three in one word. Can I swear on you? No. <laughs> um. I would say unexpected. Changeful. Is changeful a word? Changeful. <laughs> changeful. Cha Is that the word? Comment down below, guys. Is changeful a word? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can say changing 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 our way our life did change quite a bit um would you do an episode with me on your show share my story um to be honest um i feel like we should address this right now mm -hmm. um a lot of people dm me and ask me eb can you put me on the podcast but it's quite difficult for me to put you on the podcast if you haven't really done anything in the city and imagine if i was putting everyone on the podcast then you guys wouldn't look forward to the podcast because then everyone's just on the podcast you know what i mean so there needs to be a sense of novelty on the podcast that's why i don't always respond to dms about the podcast or to emails about it because i want it to be something special so when you work so hard in your career at some way you can go to share your story once you've reached a certain point and oh wait so guys don't take it personally if i ignore your dm we don't take it personally if i don't respond to you when you ask to be on the podcast um i'm just i don't want to come and be like yo bro i can't have you then it's a bit awkward you know what i mean mm -hmm. uh, I so, so the podcast is something that you're supposed to get it's, it's like it's like the jackpot at the end of a rainbow after you worked hard in your career you be, um please record i hope i did because i'm just thinking i really didn't that's a long day but anyway do you guys argue when it comes to parenting we actually haven't yet. we actually have we i wouldn't call that arguing though like we don't stand and shout at each other but we like disagree on some things but never to the point where it like causes a big thing between the two of us like we try and compromise and see who gives in for who yeah i, th I think i think for me it's been a, a different one like a different dynamic was when we argue about a child that was was new Mm -hmm. uh but um yeah it's interesting though i feel like we all want what's best for um but we but also so have because now your arguments go from like why are you liking a picture to why are you putting that on for yeah to yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's kind of crazy yeah it's a new it's a new it's a new experience but hey we take it as it comes mm. but we we don't like scream at each other argue kind of thing we just have disagreement why don't y'all make vlogs together anymore because they were literally the best with the mixes do you know what it is though jessica's been at home yeah. most times i feel like it changed in that way because i don't go out as often like we don't do a lot of stuff together anymore obviously because alexis is still so small and she's busy waking up can you hear? yeah um so yeah i think that's why but as she gets older though we'll get back into it yeah we'll get more vlogs we'll be going everywhere to even go to congo guys i actually want to tour africa this year like yes. like go to botswana go to namibia go to nigeria Namibia though but Niger namibia again like just tour the entire africa go to namibia botswana congo kenya ethiopia um just go to all those countries if you guys are in that country and you're watching this video please let me know if i can stay at your place <laughs> have you ever cheated on someone that backfired what does that mean what does backfire mean like they're cheating on you no i think um i don't know maybe it came out or something yeah um, but no i i haven't me not yet
joking, I'm joking, 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 joking. Just a joke. 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 Where was Jessica conceived? I don't what? know. I don't know. I don't Do you know. mean a child or me? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know why he's asking me that. I think I was born in in. Where I were you conceived? Not where were you born? Oh, probably in those days. Where were they doing those things? In the car, maybe. In the car. Yes, that time when you still how many years ago was that? Things were different. Like you can't just go lay in the bed. Oh, but no, my I think. Your parents were married. <laughs> yeah, probably in a bed. I have no idea. I didn't ask my parents. So how did you guys make me? Mm. Yeah, I remember the day when I was conceived. Actually, she's waking up for real, for real now, Anna. and she's back. Hi. Um. Next question is, what's your favorite song right now? <sighs> I haven't listened to music in forever, but probably. Um. Hold you. Hold you by Egyptian. Egyptian. Well, yeah, love me all, yeah. Put me on right around, yeah. Girl, you give me the tightest hold me ever get in my life. Hi. <laughs> what a song, guys. I'm listening to Jamaican music this year all year long. Is Jessica from England? Yes. How did you know? <laughs> The England in Stramontane, yeah. Someone said, come to Weinberg. Me, unfortunately, I will not be there. When I think about Weinberg, I think about Maynard Mall. I think about that main road. Even though there's Cozy Corner and... Uh, What's wrong with Maynard Mall? Maynard Mall is lit, but just the surrounding area. Are you ready? Maynard Mall. Um, I went there on a date when I was 15. I'm joking, joking, joking. I didn't go on dates before you. If I've not, never fell not. in love. I saved us feelings you for you. you know Home Affairs, then you know Maynard Mall. Is there Home Affairs there? Yes, and you stand for hours. And is it by my not more? Yes, it is. It is. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's what happens. What age did I move to? Is <laughs> when you showing baby face? Please, I didn't wait for nine months for nothing. Sorry, bro said he didn't wait for nine months for nothing. When you showing the baby's face. We're not showing the baby's face and respectfully, nobody said you need to wait nine months. Oh! Was, that was our nine months. Yeah, that true. kind of crazy. Internet. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like just, just, just the way people ask things yeah. is like kind of weird. Like, uh, like whenever I walk in public and people say, can I see your baby? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, imagine... You just have to of your baby. Yeah, like you just have to show a random stranger your child, bro. You know, it's it's a bit invasive, do you know what I mean? But let me just actually add on that. I showed Edward the other day, so um long story short, someone that we know that drives for in driver got a request from somebody and the person's profile picture was a picture of me, Edway, holding Alexis. We don't know this person. So imagine we post our child on social like who does that? That's just creepy. Why would anyone do that? What do you mean? Like I, you see, we disagree on that though. What do you not find that weird? Do you know what it is? Like, say for instance when you were when you were young and you were growing up, no? Mm. And you saw like it's a Chunks and Philly, for instance. Mm. Chunks and Philly is YouTubers. So some people might put them as their profile. But picture. my thing is, we don't know who's behind the phone. You're assuming that it's somebody that is like, that likes us, that watches our videos and stuff. Mm. But, but why else? somebody that wants to like trick people to think like, oh my word, they like, I mean, do you know I what I mean? I get you, I get you, I get you. I get what you're saying also. Like it can go both ways. But it, it's like for me, I just find it weird because obviously you don't want your, your child in on some random person's profile picture. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I get you, I do get you. I just looked at it in a way in which like we are out there now and like a lot of supporters might want to make yeah. make us as their profile picture. Mm, and they just course. happen to choose the most relevant photo right yeah. now. But yeah. it's just, it's it's like conflicting, man, because you don't know who's behind yeah, the Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, did you all, did you experience bullying when you were younger? Um, I'll answer this one, bro. As a black guy in Cape Town in South Africa, bro. As a black guy from Congo, as a black guy from Congo that's dark skinned, bullying is like your daily bread, bro. When you go to school, they must bully you properly, bro. You know, you know when they switch off the light and they're like, where's EB? You know them ones there. So yeah, I was bullied like crazy when I was growing up, but I feel like it's taught me a lot, and that's why 
now in my career when people say things about me online like about my nose about my skin like i don't even care bro like someone was saying the k-word like 15 times in your comments yeah i seen it in the comment and somebody was just saying crazy stuff they were saying k k k k k do you know what i mean and it was just insane like that actually hurt me though because like mm. yo why would someone say that in your comments yeah why are they so rude yeah but regardless though it is what it is i feel like bullying has shaped me as a person and allowed me to um just be able to handle my career a lot better so i'm grateful for it yeah you're bullied Good. not really no yeah when you have green eyes all the people like you in primary school <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't bullied okay not on not on not like to that extent on your level i feel like you define bullying yeah. do you know what i mean if you have tips on how to get the baby to take a dummy please let me know because this girl will not take a dummy okay she spits it out yeah guys i think that's the end of the video no because yeah we have to go take take back the mother duties <laughs> Yeah, she's awake now. She's going to want to drink some milk. Yeah, and guys, hopefully we'll drop some more vlogs for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Jessica. Say something to the people. Shout out to my boyfriend, Evie the Kid. Tell the people out there that thank you for supporting me. And if you don't, suck mine.